1994 Toyota pickup truck. Ooh, it's my wife's truck. 1975 Toyota Hilux. There's the rear levelizer valve already set up. Rear suspension. Custom. Still got to weld the uh, exhaust on. This is all done. Just got to strap the tank on. Get the bed on today. I've got six hours. Six hours to do all the work I need to. The front sitting up because I've got it set up differently. I had to buy new uh, levelizer valves. Um, the levelizer valves that I'm using, uh, these ones right here, I've got new ones now. You can pick these up at a Volvo Mac dealership. Well, at least the one here in uh, Little Rock for $17 a piece. I bought two of them for $37. There they are, brand new ones. I gotta stick those in there. All right, six hours, let's get to it. First thing I gotta do, get my truck off the ground. See, it's floating. Two jacks in the front. Nice thing about mine is I have six inch bags in the front, so they're actually oversized. I don't have custom control arms, so they stop the wheel from falling any farther down and hurting the bag. The bag does not have to hold the weight of it. Back here, the way I've got my setup, my shocks extend all the way out. My bags don't go all the way out. The shocks end up holding the axle up while I have it jacked up in the air. So, and then the levelizer valves, they work accordingly. So, actually, I can turn this off and dump the air out of my suspension if I wanted to. Now the bags will be re now the bags will be relaxed. Okay, enough about that. How to get my levelizer valves on? All right, had to drill new holes, but I've got these levelizer valves mounted in there. Now, see this arm? It's too long, so I need to cut it or drill it first. I'm going to drill a hole right about here. That way, it's centered up with a spot where I could actually mount this which this i'm going to actually cut this this side off because this is made to mount to a big truck and i'm going to mount it to my little truck so i'm going to actually just cut this off and then i'll weld this mounting bracket straight to the top of the control arm and that would be my wife um i had to check that text but yeah i'm going to do that real quick all right well i ended up having to make some arms so I made the arms and then I made it fully adjustable so I can raise it all the way up and all the way down I'm gonna end up welding it on right there because right now I've got it set so that from the side this would be one ride height I want it to be even with the rim so that's where I'll do that and then from there I can go up that would be the lowest setting which I probably won't ever ride with it that low see all I got to do is Adjust this down to where I want it. Daddy. Stop that, and then it goes right there. So let me get that welded in. Uh, what, baby? What? Um, my, my drink was getting yucky from me dropping it in the floor. Oh, well, stop dropping it on the floor. Okay. Well, I was sitting it right there, and I was swinging with it, and I was keep dropping it. Okay. All right, tell everybody hi. Bye. And bye. Bye. All right, front levelizer valves are killing me. I had it mounted there. Only problem with that is, is when I lay it all the way out, it runs into the levelizer valve. So now I got to find a further point out to be able to mount it. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So I had to break these off and I'm going to grind them down a little bit and uh, get them welded further out. That way I have more travel of the arm. This is learning process there's nothing really to go on so this is all new to me as it is to you so let me get these done all right i uh welded it out there so now it actually works i'm going to show you here in just a second this one's mounted up the same way just on the back side let me go ahead and uh i got a piece of tape right here i'm going to mount my uh my phone to it See if I can get it in there. I know this is going to take a little bit. But there we go. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to let the air out and it'll lay itself down. Yes. I'm just going to let it down and get it. Watch out. 
Go back up a little bit. Hey, is that enough? Yep, that's enough. Now see what I do is I cut off the supply and then I opened up my dump valve and then the whole thing is allowed to lay down on the ground. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close the dump and add air and it'll air itself back up. Yes. 4 air, 4 air. What are you telling them? <laughs> and there it is, airing itself back up. It gets to right there, almost right there, and then it'll stop. And that's it. Now it's fully aired up. If I push down on it, it's going to air itself back up again. Whoops. Yeah, let's try it again. There. And then if I get off of it, it'll pop up and let air out to level itself back. So there we go, now you've seen it in action. All right, rear is set up the same way. There's the levelizer valve on the passenger side. If I add air, it'll air itself up. And there it is. And the front's airing itself up the rest of the way. Oops, let me drop you guys a couple times. See here? There. The whole truck airs itself up and down. No problems. Now all I got to do is wire in the uh, pressure switch and all the mechanical and hardware and everything is done on the truck. So let me get that switch put in. I'm taking a picture of you. It's a video so people can see you. Okay. I promised a couple weeks ago that I would show you guys this. All I do is I take my battery and I ran the... Uh, toggle wires or the wires to uh, alligator clamps and then uh, I just hooked it up on there all right try not to wreck okay. go ahead go that's on low it's got two settings go turn get yourself out of there oh you're gonna get hooked up back here okay go ahead and go now that's on low okay stop there you go that thing will go for hours on one charge of that battery. It doesn't make it like drift worthy fast or anything like that, but it's fast enough. Go! Ooh, hope she doesn't run into the house. All right, there you go. I think I showed you guys enough of that. Now I gotta get back to that. And there's my HIDs. I don't know how well the yellow's gonna show up. But I wanted to show you guys that before I shut my truck down for the night. All right, now it's gonna go back to daytime because I did this at night. <laughs> That's it. Lays down by itself. That's all I could get done today. You guys saw how the levelizers worked. Uh, I took it for a spin. Everything's on the up and up. I got the compressor wired up. I got the pressure uh, 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 the pressure switch wired up. Uh, I will explain how to do all that. I just I ran out of time this week. I got to leave first thing in the morning. So this is it. What? Say hi. <laughs> all right. So that's it. Subscribe at the top, at the bottom, wherever it says subscribe. Uh, click, click that like button, please. We, mosquitoes are out. We got to go inside and watch a movie. And uh, uh, leave some comments at the bottom. Uh, thank you very much. I, I don't know how many times I can say thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to end it there. Are you getting the mosquitoes? Yes. <laughs> One more time.
from the Toyota family, I guess you could say.